Welcome to Hornbill TV. This is your anchor, Kikriza Yusolo. First, the headlines. The Indian government rescued four individuals from Libya on Friday. The nationals Parv Kumar, Manreet Singh, Rohit and Sukhwinder Singh returned to Delhi on Friday morning. The Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu, has donated his lifetime savings to flood relief funds in the state. The GP of Nagaland Rupin Sharma on Friday warned personnel of Nagaland police who are indulging in substance abuse including drugs and alcohol to go sober or get terminated from service. The 12 children who were reported missing after a boat they were on capsized in the Bagmati River in Bihar's Muzaffarpur district were pulled out of that from the waters on Friday, officials said. Now for the news in details. The Indian government rescued four individuals from Libya on Friday. The nationals Parvin Kumar, Manrit Singh, Rohit and Sukhwinder Singh returned to Delhi on Friday morning. This young man went to Libya early this year in February after fake travel agents promised them jobs in Italy. All of them were flown from India in February 2023 via Dubai and then Egypt. After a few days, they were landed in Libya and kept in Zuwara city. Visibly shaken and shocked, this young man remembered their horrific experiences in the North African country, saying they had to survive on a meager meal of bread, face constant punishment for missed deadlines, and were sold as labor multiple times. Last month, 17 Indian youths, mostly belonging to the Punjab and Haryana states, were rescued by Indian authorities from Libya. Indian अपनी Indian बल्कि सरकार ने इंडियन बेसी ने विदेश में तरह लेजी ने हमारी बहुत हेल्प की हमें वहां से निकलवा के यहां पे वापस भेजा है 14 जनवरी को मैं यहां से गया था और उसके बाद उन्होंने दो मंथ कांटेक्ट रहा फैमिली के साथ उसके बाद उन्होंने माफिया को भेज दिया उसके बाद कोई कांटेक्ट नहीं था उसके बाद फिर वहां से अपनी बल्कि इंडियन सरकार ने निकलवाया वहां से हमें और हमें यहां पे वापस भेज दिया वही वो काम करवाते थे बल्कि जैसे कंस्ट्रक्शन का काम करवाते थे उसके बाद काम करवा के जब उनके पैसे पूरे हो जाते फिर आगे भेज देते थे वो किसी और को भेज देते थे फिर वो काम करवाता था फिर वो आगे किसी और को भेज देता था उसके बाद फिर हमारे इंडियन सरकार ने हमें निकलवाया विदेश मंत्री तरालिया जी ने हमें निकलवाया वहां से कुछ खाना पीना नहीं बस खुबसा होता है वो देते हैं दो दो खुबसे देते हैं जैसे ब्रेड होते हैं वो दो दिन ब्रेड देते हैं एक दिन में फिर वहां से निकलवाया हम बस ने 15 20 दिन के बाद निकलवा लिया और त्यूनस से अनिल सर आए उन्होंने हमारे आउटपास्ट बनवाए और बंगाली इंडियन स्कूल में और तबूशम मैडम है उन्होंने हमारे आउटपास्ट बनवा के हमें यहां पे इंडिया वापस भेज दिया सबसे पहले तो मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहूंगा मैम हमारी फॉरेन मिनिस्ट्री जो है और जो हमारे विदेश मंत्री है अपने जय शंकर जी उनका और एंबेसी से हमारे अनिल सर उन्होंने हमारी बहुत हेल्प की है और वहां से हमारे पासपोर्ट वगैरह बनवाए हैं दोबारा से जो हमारे पासपोर्ट माफिया ने छीन लिए थे उसके बाद बंगाली लीबिया में एक मैडम है इंडियन स्कूल चलाती हैं तबूसम मैडम है उनका हम मैं तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहूंगा उन्होंने हमारी बहुत हेल्प की है सारी जगह से उन्होंने हमें खाने पीने से लेकर सारा कुछ हमें वहां पे व्यवस्था करवाई है और यहां तक का टिकट का और आने का जाने का रहने का सब कुछ उन्होंने हमारी बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प की है हम दुआएं वगैरह दिलवाई है जब हम वो जेल से निकलवा के लेके आए थे माफिया के वहां से और जेल से निकलवा के लेके आए थे तब हमारी बहुत हालत खराब थी हमसे चलने जाता तो उन्होंने अपने पास में रख के हमें मेडिसिन वगैरह दिलाई मेडिसिन दिलाई खाने की व्यवस्था ठीक करवाई तो हमारे हाथ में चोट लगी थी उन्होंने वो हॉस्पिटल में डेली वहां पे विदाउट पासपोर्ट के घूमना एक मतलब वहां पे नहीं घूम सकते थे उन्होंने इतना रिस्क लेके एक बाबा थे वहां पे मैडम के पास में अपने इंडियन बाबा ही हैं वो भोपाल से हैं उनके बहुत अच्छा फैमिली की तरह उन्होंने मुझे रखा अपने परिवार की तरह उन्होंने रखा है खाने से लेकर रहने तक की हर एक चीज को मुझे 1% भी एहसास नहीं होने दिया उत्तर प्रदेश मिनिस्टर फॉर माइनॉरिटी वेलफेयर दानिश आजाद अंसारी on Friday hosted artists from South Korea 
and his residents and fed them the famous Balias Bati Choka. Musical duo and K-pop artists Aura and Friday were among those who joined the lunch at the minister's residence. Uttar Pradesh Tourism Department is organizing a program on the completion of 50 years of India-South Korea relations. India and South Korea established diplomatic relations in 1973 and are celebrating the 50th anniversary this year. It took a long time for official relations to be established as India wanted to do so simultaneously with South and North Korea, which the Koreas were not ready for until 1973. The Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, Sukhwinder Singh Sukhu, has donated his lifetime savings to flood relief funds in the state. According to reports, the Chief Minister had saved Rs. 51,17,000 in his bank account for his family and personal expenses, but debited the entire amount to donate for the state's disaster management and provide shelter to common people who were rendered homeless in the disaster that hit the state. The Chief Minister said many children broke their piggy banks to contribute to the State Disaster Relief Fund. Officers, employees and elderly pension employees have all contributed according to their capacity. And so, he also did the same. Since the onset of monsoon on June 24 till September 12, Himachal Pradesh has suffered losses of Rs 8,679 crore. About 270 people have died in rain-related incidents. According to the State Emergency Operations Center, as many as 165 landslides and 72 flash floods were reported during the monsoon session. Out of the 111 deaths in landslides, 94 were reported in Kullu, Mandi, Shimla and Solan districts, while 18 out of 19 deaths due to flash floods were also witnessed in these districts. <laughs> कि जमा की गई मेरी अपनी व्यक्ति का त्राशी है और जो मेरे अकाउंट्स में पैसे थे जिसमें जब से ये आपदा राहत कोष आई जब से ये आपदा राहत कोष आई है तो कई बच्चे भी अपनी गुल्लक तोड़ के पैसा बांट रहे थे दे रहे थे और आपदा राहत कोष में सभी कर्मचारियों ने सभी अधिकारियों ने और बुजुर्ग पेंशन कर्मचारियों ने भी इस आपदा राहत कोष में जो उनकी क्षमता थी उसके हिसाब से उन्होंने अपने पैसे निकालकर सरकार को दिए बच्चों ने अपनी गुल्लक तोड़कर सरकार को पैसे दिए तो मैंने भी जब अपने बैंकों का हिसाब लगाया अपने तीन बैंक से मैंने देखा तो मेरे मन में पहले से विचार था और मैंने अपने बैंक से सारे पैसे इकट्ठे किए और ये आपदा राहत कोष में जो मेरे पास पैसा था उसको मैंने दान के रूप में अपनी निधि जो है उसमें से दान के रूप में ये आपदा राहत कोष में दिया तो मेरे मन में भावना आई कि जब बच्चे दे रहे हैं तो मैं प्रदेश का मुख्यमंत्री हूं तो मैंने अपने सारे बैंकों का पैसा इकट्ठा करने के बाद ये निर्णय लिया कि मैं आज ये जो पैसा है इसको दान दू DGP of Nagaland Rupin Sharma on Friday warned personnel of Nagaland police who were indulging in substance abuse, including drugs and alcohol, to go sober or get terminated from service. Stating that the personnel indulging in such activities have been given written warnings since last month's seven months and said this will be the final warning. He also said there are many qualified people who can take the place in Nagaland. Nagaland Nagaland police bhi family society laga hissa ase tate bhi beshi problem ase madhu kha laga mon bhi beshi ase drugs kha mon bhi beshi ase amakan likhe return pura sab kimon kimon khai ase ta ekhan ke warning diye ase pehla pura 7 mahina pura ami warning dise etia final warning dikana koy ase kon kon madhu aro drugs khai etu ta ekhan thik ho jabe na hole upay nai phelawo de apni khan ke biya paile bhi pabi hole bhi phelawo apni khan ke bolai debo service pura Family can be up in Kandaka, Hagile, Bujibi, 
नो मर्सी अपनी खान मधु खाई तो अपनी खान के फैलाले अपनी खान पर भल पढ़ा लिखा काम कर मानू पा दे नागालैंड पुलिस दे सो प्लीज बी केयरफुल एनी वन हू इज टेकिंग ड्रग्स और एल्कोहल जाने जाए दे दिगदार हो वो धरा खाई दे बेसि दिगदार हो The 12th children who were reported missing after a boat they were capsized in the Bagmati River in Bihar's Muzaffarpur district were pulled out dead from the waters on Friday officials said as many as 15 to 20 persons who were on the ill-fated boat that overturned in Bagmati River in the Banibad police station area of Muzaffarpur were rescued on Thursday itself Emergency rescue personnel from the National Disaster Response Force and State Disaster Response Force were pressed into service after the capsize was reported. The commandant of the NDRF, JP Prasad said, the NDRF team has been engaged here since yesterday and they are trying to recover the children who drowned. The exact figure can be quoted by the local people of 8 to 10 children are missing here, he said. Now it's a search operation and not a rescue operation he also added Yeah to kal se hamari NDRF ki team lagi hui hai aur wo bahut prayas kar rahi hai ki jitna jaldi ho sake jo jo bhi bacche hain doobe hain unko recover kar le NDRF ki do teamen lagi hui hai aur wo apne area mein yahan se kyunki drowning yahan pe hua hai to संभावना जताई जा रही है कि वो पानी करंट के साथ आगे चला गया होगा तो आगे जाकर के टीम हमारी लगी हुई है ये एग्जैक्ट फिगर यहीं के लोग बता पाएंगे आठ दस बच्चे मिसिंग दिख रहे हैं अभी नहीं शाम इसमें रेस्क्यू तो रहा नहीं अब तो सर्च ऑपरेशन रह गया हमारा रेस्क्यू तो उस समय होता है जब जिस समय ड्रॉनिंग होती है उस समय हम रेस्क्यू करते हैं अदरवाइज जब भी हमारी प्रयास ये है कि जितना जल्दी हो सके हम सबको रिकवर कर पाए आगे तक करंट ज्यादा है पानी में आप देख रहे हैं सामने करंट है तो उसको देखते हुए हमारी टीम आगे पहुंची हुई है सारे बोट लेकर के लोग आगे सर्च कर रहे हैं दोनों किनारे हालांकि बहुत ज्यादा वेट नहीं है चौड़ाई नहीं है नदी की ज्यादा इस वजह से संभावनाएं हैं कि जल्दी मिल जाना चाहिए लेकिन ऐसे में हमारे डीप डाइवर्स को अगर हम पानी में उतारेंगे भी तो नीचे नहीं जा सकेगा क्योंकि कोई पर्टिकुलर जगह नहीं है जहां पर हमारे डीप डाइवर्स सर्च करके निकाल लें क्योंकि यहाँ पे एक पर्टिकुलर जगह पे वो मिलेंगे नहीं लोग जो भी होंगे वो आगे बढ़ चलेगी Time for a short break we'll be back with more news Ta dango breaking news I na see For those who make decisions that count, those who to know lead. <laughs> We shall all work together for the development Naga of the people have fought for the protection of culture. The world is moving fast, and you're always rushing to catch up. Let Hornbill TV catch up for you. We are all about news that matters. More importantly, news that matters to you. Hornbill TV pra latest reports our conversation to anibo sob Nagaland states laga aur Bihar states laga bhi Hornbill TV do apni ge duniya laga usor anibo all together on a single platform think big watch big fresh news fresh day Welcome back. Moving on to the next news. Manipur Pradesh Congress President K. Megha Chandra, while talking to Hornbill TV on Friday, said that the state government claims of working to improve law and order situations and removing Assam rifles from the state seems like an eyewash. Megha Chandra said, if the state government was serious about the removal of Assam rifles, as demanded by some sections of people. they should have taken a cabinet decision instead of ensuing condemnation after the palel incident mega chandra said the unified command which commands all the security apparatus including the central security forces and state forces is also not working seriously in the state and has failed to demand explanation calls from the assam rifles even though it has all the authority 
about the camping of many ministers and MLAs in the national capital. K. Megachandra said, the whole exercise will not be fruitful as the chief minister himself is not part of the team. He said the chief minister should be the one leading the team while meeting the prime minister and other central leaders. He called the whole exercise of some ruling legislators camping in Delhi to meet central leaders as drama probably enacted to escape from pressures. What happened in Manipur uh, by the Assam Rifle, but the state government is silently a uh, spectator and uh, there is no any uh, actions against these, uh, I mean, Assam Rifle. So, and at the same time, the unified command, it is not also uh, this working uh, seriously, it's not working seriously. They should uh, call uh, the explanations from the Assam Rifle because Unified Command is the authority to have an explanation call for such, I mean, incidents, no? This killing of many innocent people and uh, uh, these casualties which had happened in that uh, Palin incidents. Sir, about this um, uh, uh, MLAs and minister visiting the, the Delhi, do you see any fertility in the uh, whole exercise? No, this uh, regarding uh, this uh, camp, camping of MLAs and the ministers of this BJP government in Delhi, it is, I think, it will not be fruitful because they are not very serious. The leader, the chief minister is not included over there in the camping. I mean, whatever it is, the chief minister should lead. So why he abstain from this, uh, I mean, the meeting of different central leaders, including the prime ministers. So how can, so without the leader uh, of this uh, present government, how can, I mean, the ministers and MLA will do? So that it is, uh, in fact, is something like a drama. You have seen many serials have been performed by this uh, BJP government in the in the last three, four months. So the designations drama and the like other serials programs have been performed by the these uh, BJP government in the state in connection with this present violence. So in fact, it is not very serious because these leaders is not there in this, uh, uh, I mean, camping over there for these, finding out the solutions in the present violence in Manipur. So, in fact, it is just like, you no, know, this, people may think that the, uh, this, it is, it may uh, come in a, in a good turn, return, but it is, uh, this is just like a new, I mean, old wine in the new bottles. So people may think that this, the, the result may uh, come a good uh, result, but at the, at the end, the, the old wine which is very similar and uh, not powerful and not very uh, strong, which is put in the uh, new bottles like. So it is, it may uh, happens like that new uh, old wine in the new bottles. An NIA special court on Friday awarded death sentence to two designated terrorists, Muzaffar and Faisal, for the murder of retired teacher Ramesh Babu Shukla in Kanpur. A fine of rupees 5 lakh each was also slapped upon them. Earlier, an associate of the two, Saifullah, and killed in an encounter with ATS in Thakur Ganj, Lucknow in March 2017. The alleged terrorist killed the retired teacher in Kanpur and an FIR was registered on 24 October 2016 at Chakeri police station. The victim was reportedly murdered for testing a pistol. Twenty-six armed cadres of Myanmar-based NSCNK on Thursday joined NSCNR. The group was led by Brigadier Polai Pong Laham, who was also chairman of Wangcho region in NSCNK. According to a press release by the group, President of NSCNR, Y. Wangtin Naga and Ato Kilonser P. Tikak has expressed happiness and lauded the officers and cadres for taking the right decision. 
A welcoming program was organized for the new joinees, where senior cadres express being deeply disturbed by the division within the Naga groups in recent past, as well as the mindless killing among the Nagas. The statement said they relied their strong faith and belief in the able leadership of President and the Atokilonsa, who, according to them, would steer the Naga society to part of peace, progress, and prosperity, and also exuded high hope and confidence in the GOI in bringing lasting peace in the Naga areas. They also expressed their happiness and appreciation on the efforts put by the GOI and the Naga groups to resolve the long-pending Indo-Naga issues with all honesty and sincerity. There has been one more case of Nipah virus being confirmed in Kerala in a 39-year-old man in Kozikode. Pushing up to a number of active cases of the brain damaging virus in the state to four. State Health Department said on Friday, with this, the total tally of Nipah virus infections from the virus in Kerala has been recorded to at least six, including two deaths. According to the State Health Minister's office, the 39 year old patient is under observation in a hospital in Kozikode. The state government has strengthened measures to prevent the spread of the infection. Two deaths from the Nipah virus in Kozikode took place on August 30 and September 11. Kerala has shut some schools and offices this week as officials reached to halt the spread of the deadly Nipah virus after two people succumbed in the fourth outbreak of the virus since the year 2018. Affected gram panchayats in the Kozikode area have been declared as quarantine zones. Samples of 15 people of those in the high-risk category in the contact list have been sent for testing. Restrictions still continue in Nipah containment zones in Kerala's Kozikode. I am the Secretary of the Jumaa Masjid Mahalli. As you know, कि हमारा एरिया में निप्पा वायरस ज्यादा आया हुआ है यहां पर एक आदमी का मौत हुआ है और दो आदमी पॉजिटिव डिक्लेअर किया है इसके अंतर्गत एक टीआरडी गांव और उसका नियरेस्ट गांव में लॉकडाउन डिक्लेअर किया हुआ है और गवर्नमेंट अधिकारियों ने जिला कलेक्टर और टीआरडी पंचायत अथॉरिटी और पुलिस अथॉरिटीयों ने हम लोग को जुमा मस्जिद में आदमी लोग इकट्ठा नहीं होना है करके निर्देश मिला है इस निर्देश को अनुसार हम लोग मस्जिद बंद करने का फैसला किया है आज फ्राइडे जुमा नहीं होगा और पूरा मस्जिद हमारा जुमा मस्जिद महिला कमेटी के अंदर तीन मस्जिद है तीनों मस्जिद अगले आदेश तक जो बंद करने का फैसला किया हुआ है ये बीमारी को कंट्रोल करने के लिए गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटी के साथ हम लोग पूरे तरीके से कोऑपरेट करेगा the opposition alliance INDIA has announced a boycott of 14 news anchors. The alliance media committee said in a statement that its members will not send their representatives to show or events of these anchors. The committee accused the anchors of spreading communal hatred and polarizing society. It also said that the anchors often deflect attention from real issues and peddle government propaganda. The committee accused the anchors of spreading communal hatred and polarizing society. It said that the anchors often deflect attention from real issues and peddle government propaganda. The list of the blacklisted anchors include Aman Chopra, Amish Devgan, Anand Narashimhan, Aditi Tyagi, Ashok Sinha Sudhir, Chaudhary, Chitra Tripathi, Rubika Liyakat, Gora Sawant, Shif Arur, Prachi Prashahar, Navik Kumar. Sushant Sinha and Arnab Goswami. Justifying the Action Congress spokesperson Pawan Khera, who is a part of the committee of the opposition parties that took the decision in their virtual meeting, said some channels have put up market for hatred for the last nine years. Regarding the boycott, the Bhartiya Janta Party strongly criticized and condemned the decision of the INDIA to boycott certain journalists and issue threats against them. Here is a press release issued by the BJP. 
The BJP condemns the INDIA alliance decision to boycott certain journalists and issues threat against them. The BJP believes that this decision is an attack on freedom of the press and dangerous attempt to silence critical voices. The BJP also believes that a free and independent press is essential for a healthy democracy. The BJP urges the INDIA alliance to reconsider its decision and to respect the freedom of the press. The BJP calls on all journalists to continue to report freely and without fear. The party believes it is an attack on freedom of the press and a threat to democracy. BJP spokesperson Sambit Patra said that the INDIA alliance decision to boycott certain journalists is an attack on freedom of the press, adding that it is a dangerous attempt to silence critical voices and create a culture of fear among journalists. सब पत्रकार बैठे हैं यहाँ पर और आपके माध्यम से और टीवी के कैमरे के माध्यम से मैं करोड़ों पत्रकारों से आज सवाल पूछता हूँ क्या ये जो चौदह नाम लिखे गए हैं ये बॉयकॉट के नाम हैं या ये टारगेट लिस्ट है क्या इनको केवल बॉयकॉट किया गया है या इनको टारगेट करने के लिए इनके नाम जारी किए गए हैं मैं ये सवाल पूछता हूं ये हिट लिस्ट है कुछ ऐसे पत्रकार हैं जो डिबेट नहीं करते जो डिबेट नहीं करते हैं आप उनमें गेस्ट भेजेंगे ही कैसे तो उनके नाम क्यों रखे गए हैं टारगेट करने के एफ आई आर डालेंगे आपको छोड़ेंगे नहीं आपको मसल के रख देंगे और आप बताइए एक पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता होते हैं अब मैं कांग्रेस के लिए या उनके पार्टी के लिए कहूंगा नहीं कि लाखों कार्यकर्ता है हजारों तो है कुछ सौ तो है ही आपके कार्यकर्ता कल अगर इस हिट लिस्ट में जिनके नाम दिए गए हैं उनके साथ दुर्व्यवहार करें उन पर हमला कर दे क्योंकि आपने लिस्ट जारी की है बकायदा कि ये नफरती पत्रकार हैं और प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके कहा है कि ये नफरत का दुकान चलाते हैं अगर कुछ लोग इनके ऊपर दुर्व्यवहार कर दे तो इसके लिए जिम्मेदार कौन है तो मैं इसको बॉयकॉट का लिस्ट कदाचित नहीं कहूंगा मैं कहूंगा दिस वॉज अ हिट जॉब डन बाय अ हिट लिस्ट रिलीज बाय द कांग्रेस पार्टी एंड द इंडियन लाइन्स ये एक हिट जॉब है और मुझे लगता है इसे सारे पत्रकार फेटर्निटी को बहुत गंभीरता से लेने की आवश्यकता रिगार्डिंग द बॉयकॉट Another BJP leader, Amit Malviya, accused the INDIA alliance of trying to intimidate and bully journalists. The INDIA alliance is trying to create a climate of fear and intimidation for journalists, he said. They want to silence critical voices and prevent the truth from coming out. Here is a visual of Congress MP Gaurav Gogoi speaking to ANI on this issue. Look, in this case, our Congress party is a clear mantra. कि वे जर्नलिस्ट जो जर्नलिज्म कर रहे हैं उनके साथ हम हैं बार बार राहुल गांधी जी कहते हैं कि अब डरिए मत आप लोगों पर बहुत दबाव है हम जानते हैं हम आपके साथ हैं लेकिन वे कुछ लोग जो भाजपा के मीडिया सेल के व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में हैं पीएमओ के व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में हैं और दिन रात देश में नफरत फैला फैलाने का काम कर रहे हैं नफरत फैलाना आईपीसी सेक्शन 153 के अनुसार एक जुर्म है इस जुर्म में हम उन लोगों का सहयोग नहीं करना चाहते द बीजेपी क्रिटिसिज्म ऑफ आई एन डी आई अलायंस कम्स एट अ टाइम वेन द कंट्रीज मीडिया इज फेसिंग इंक्रीजिंग प्रेशर फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट एंड पावरफुल इंटरेस्ट इन रिसेंट ईयर्स देर हैव बीन अंबर ऑफ केसेस ऑफ जर्नलिस्ट बींग हेरेस्ट इंटीमिडिएटेड एंड इवन अरेस्टेड फॉर दियर वर्क The INDIA alliance decision to boycott certain journalists has been condemned by many journalists and media organizations. They say that the boycott is an attack on freedom of the press and it will have a chilling effect on journalism in India. The INDIA alliance decision to boycott certain journalists has been met with mixed reactions. Some people have praised the move while others have criticized it. Those who support the boycott argue that it is necessary to hold journalists accountable for their reporting. They say that some journalists have been spreading misinformation and hate speech and that the boycott will send a message that this type of behavior will not be tolerated. It remains to be seen how the INDIA alliance will respond to the BJP's criticism. However, it is clear that the boycott has raised serious concerns about the state of freedom of press in India. 
that is all we have for this bulletin thank you for watching hornbill tv